Hello everyone, my name is Rampage and I'm back with yet another build, a Dark Moon Greatsword build. But not just any Dark Moon Greatsword build, the most broken Dark Moon Greatsword build you will ever see. This build is capable of dealing thousands of damage per hit and absolutely melting bosses. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So getting into the build, of course we're using the Dark Moon Greatsword which you can obtain after completing Ronnie the Witch's questline. If you haven't gotten this weapon already, you can start her questline at Ronnie's Rise, right here on the map. Getting into the armor, I recommend that you use the Spellblade set. This set is extremely good because it increases magic damage by 2% per piece for a total of 8%. You can get this set by completing Roger's questline. If you don't have this set already, you can find Roger at Stormvale Castle, right here on the map. If he's not there, then I'd recommend looking for a quest guide as he might have changed location due to your progress in the game. For the first talisman I recommend that you use either the Warrior Jar Shard or the Shard of Alexander, preferably the Shard of Alexander. You can find Alexander right here on the map. Now you have a choice, you can either kill him and get the Warrior Jar Shard which will increase the damage of your Ash of War attacks by 10%, or you can complete his quest line and get the Shard of Alexander which will increase the damage of your Ash of War attacks by 15%. For the second talisman, I recommend that you use the Godfrey Icon. This talisman increases your charge spell and charge skill damage by 15%. If you don't have this talisman, you can get this talisman by defeating the boss at Golden Lineage Everjail, right here on the map. For the third talisman, I recommend that you use the Magic Scorpion Charm. This talisman increases your magic damage by 12%, but increases your physical damage taken by 10%. You can get this talisman by completing Perceptor Celevis's questline. If you don't have this talisman, you can find Perceptor Celevis right here on the map, but you must complete his questline before giving Ronnie the Finger Slater Blade, or you will be unable to obtain this talisman. For the fourth talisman, I recommend that you use the Ritual Sword Talisman. This talisman increases your attack power by 10% when your health is at maximum. If you don't have this talisman, you can get it from a chest in Lux Ruins right here on the map. No build is truly complete without a good Wanderer's Physic combination, for this build, I recommend the Magic Shrouding Crack tier. This tier increases your magic damage by 20% for 3 minutes, and you can get this tier by killing the Erdtree Avatar at the Minor Erdtree in Northeast Laernia, right here on the map. I also recommend the Spiked Cracked tier. This tier increases the damage of your charged attacks by 15% for 3 minutes, and you can find this tier on an altar at the Erdtree in Mistwood. As for the stats I'd recommend for this build, I'd recommend having at least 60 Vigor so you have a lot of HP. 22 Mine seems to be the sweet spot for having enough FP to have the Ash of War buff active for 4 minutes before you have to replenish your FP, which is more than enough time. 27 Endurance so you can Light Roll, which gives more iframes. This build doesn't have a lot of defense so you're going to be relying on playing a ranged with the Ash of War and iframing when you need to. 16 Strength, so we meet the requirements for the Dark Moon Greatsword. 11 Dexterity, so we meet the requirements for the Dark Moon Greatsword. And for the rest of the points, I'd recommend putting them into Intelligence, which will give you lots of damage. This is the build I like to use, but you can also add in something like the Carrion Regal Scepter and Ronnie's Dark Moon if you want to use some sorceries with this build. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, don't forget to subscribe, and if you made it this far into the video, I want to let you know that I really appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.